Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm here, I'm about to have my brekkie. Can I just say, my favorite breakfast at the moment, this is like elite, country crisp chocolate one. I think it's vegan. Well, I hope it is, because I've been eating it throughout the January, and just soy milk. This is honestly sensational. So today, what we're gonna be doing, right, is I'm gonna be cooking a three course meal for my parents, because First of all, deserve to treat my parents, they're fantastic. Second of all, they've been with me for a year now inside this house and they haven't had any alone time, so I want to do like a date night for them. And thirdly, basically, I am obsessed with lockdown DIY kits. And then this one popped up on my Instagram Explore page, I think. And I was like, that is perfect for my parents because basically it's from Rick Stein. They don't know where it's from. And Rick Stein is they've always talked about going to one of his restaurants and they've got like this box kit so I thought I'd treat them so I thought we could cook that together do that but then also I saw on TikTok these 15 hour potatoes which I just thought looked fantastic so I was like oh my gosh we can make those with the meal so if you do if you have just come for that part of the vlog then feel free to skip to it I'm gonna be honest but you can stay around if you want and see what the kit looks like because I'm so intrigued I don't know what the heck this kit is gonna look like basically it's just a fun little like vlog so well I actually made the potatoes the other day and I've got them in the freezer ready to go so I'm gonna set that clip now making 15 hour potatoes now I know what you're thinking Grace 15 hours that's like two days work. Working days, seven hours, eight hours. Push the, actually, a lot of this time is waiting time. So a little bit like the brownies, it's it's called like three day brownies or whatever. But actually a lot of it is waiting. So it's not like you're hustling away for hours and hours. It's actually, the method itself is quite simple. These potatoes are made by a wonderful TikToker who I will link down below, Poppy Cooks, and she has some wonderful recipes. So I'm just peeling the potatoes first. You have to have Maris Piper potatoes. And then we, I'll get you onto the next uh, thing we need to do. Okay, we have peeled our potatoes. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna thinly slice them. Now I'm actually using this funky mandolin contraption, which means that hopefully I don't cut my fingers off. And we're going straight into the fat. Now she used duck fat. I'm obviously doing veganery, so I can't use duck fat. So I'm just using a normal like oil. Here we have our potatoes. That was, <coughs> oh. um, and then we just sprinkle it. That was so simple, so simple. And um, we're going with a bit of salt. It's literally just oil and salt. And we get that all nice and covered. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna confit the potatoes, which is basically a long, slow cook in the oven. And then this is where it does take a long time. In a lined loaf tin, you layer it up. So we're just going to put layer upon thinly sliced layer of potato. Okay, here are the layered potatoes. And now going into the oven for three hours. They're going in really low. And then I think after an hour or something, we put a, the greaseproof paper over it. Does potato peel remind anyone else of that Nanny McPhee um, section where she's like making the soup? Okay, they have had their first hour and now I'm going to cover them with a little bit of grease proof because that's what Poppy does. And pop it back in the oven for another two hours. I forgot to show this section, but you cover it with tins to like weigh it down and then pop it into the fridge um, overnight. So pop your grease proof and then tins and let it weigh. All of my tools and my potato here, so we're just gonna take it out. She flopped it upside down, so we're gonna flop. I'm gonna sort it to can you just go over there for one second. It's like making a sandcastle. Okay, that actually looks like hers. Oh my days! Look at all those layers. Okay, fantastic. I hate those, you see that little weird little brown bit? Um, I hate when you get a funny bit in potato, but whatever, so I'm gonna get rid of you. The bottom's quite hard to cut, okay. And then I'm just gonna go. Yeah, don't saw it, you just wanna swoop, swoop. I actually feel like I'm Ratatouille, or I'm in MasterChef. You know in Ratatouille, there's something, I just lost the potato stack. The bottom is causing some issues. I think I should have made them a bit flatter. Okay, I'll be back when I have cut all my little potato squares. But I'm really determined to make shapes. I always like to do a little twist on things. Oh, we might have a star here. 
It does, it is a star though, look at that. Okay guys, we have our squares and they actually are very nice and layered. Okay, so we've got our squares and all of our shapes. I'm actually quite fan of the star, actually, but it did leave a bit of waste. And now we've got to heat up our oil to 180 degrees. So let's jump on over to the stove. All right, little buttons into the pan. Guys, we're getting technical. We have ourselves our thermometer, waiting for it to get to 100. Oh, I better check if it's 180 or 190. Okay, kittens. We're testing our first piece, which is one of the off cuts. It's 190, but I just want to check. I'm gonna put the fan on. It's actually worked. Can you see that? That was just a tester and it's already, look at that. Oh my days. I am learning as I go when frying. Um, make sure you don't overload the pan. <laughs> Rule 101. I'm working with two. I had a few too many bits in there. Also, always take out the dregs because there are a few bits that fall off and then when they fall off they get burnt and then it makes a horrible smell and then also you get to snack on the little crispy bits when you're okay guys we've done all of them and now we're just doing our little pride and joy i really hope this star works catch a falling star and put it in your pocket now as you can see mine are all a little different in shape um but she said you didn't have to cut them with sides if you wanted to. Also, I haven't quite mastered the frying technique. Just gonna add, it does have the layers. We had a few separations, like some bottoms came off like that, um, but I think that must be to do with my compression. Okay, and it's time to do the crunch test. Are we ready? That is so good. My lips and that just spinning your neck, kicking you in the crotch, fantastic. Are really good, and the texture on the middle is like creamy, almost like a mashed potato, but the outside is crunchy and crispy. There is my plate of potatoes, which I'm putting in the fridge for later, for a little surprise for my family, so you can come on a journey with me. And let's carry on with the rest of the vlog. Let's see where the day takes us. Hi, so I'm in the studio now. One of the things I've really missed during lockdown is all the things like I do outside of YouTube. Because I have quite a lot of things that you don't see that I get up to, volunteering, just like hobbies, thing, I don't know, all these other things. The time that I would normally do those things, I've just been on a screen and I haven't really been, you know, doing things for my mental health, doing things I enjoy other than baking, a lot of baking. Um, so I want to do a painting. Um, because one of my problems is that when I do things, I get really bored very quickly. <laughs> my attention span is quite short. So I found this beach tutorial online and I, as we all know, I love the beach. And I do, obviously, because lockdown, didn't go to Cornwall last year. First year I haven't been to Cornwall and it's such a shame because I love Cornwall so much. My family live there, miss them, I haven't seen them so long. So I'm gonna try and find the acrylics and from a beach scene. Do you feel like I could have a heart to heart right here? I feel like I want to tell you my life story about all the things that I got up to as a young sproglino. I'm not even really following a guideline here. I'm literally just painting colours and it is the most therapeutic thing. Just the way the paint and the water just go together. Oh my gosh. Following this one, uh, which is this, um, but I've got to, I've got to run out of blue. So this is stage one, stage one, which I feel like, other than it being a bit greeny, but now I have no blue left, so um, we're gonna have to come back for that. See, now I'm like, mm, what other source of uh, joy do I get from something other than a screen? And I'm thinking I'm gonna have to bake something for my desserts. Although I did get sent from Delicious, not sponsored, just they gifted it to me, so thanks very much. Gourmet cookie dough. I've already had the double choc ones. Um, raspberry, these ones are vegan. The raspberry white choc ones isn't. And the red velvet and white chocolate. How fab and fun are they? Okay, I think that this is the Rick Stein. I didn't know that. What, did I add that? How fun is this? Okay, so you've got a little menu. My parents picked the Indonesian seafood curry Mool's marinade, I don't know how to say that. And passion fruit eating mess. Oh, I seem to have gotten a wine, which I did not think was included in the price. Hello. Wow, mm, very bougie. I wish I liked wine. 
but it's repulsive. We've got some parsley, green bean salad, crispy onions, confit onions, and then we've got the mussels. Oh, the wine is used for the mussels. Finally got our sushi. I can get you one. Mmm, I've been craving this for so long. Ah! I want to walk now and it is freezing. I personally think it's going to snow tonight. I mean, yeah, maybe I do say that every weekend. But do you know who else says that every weekend? BBC weather. There's you every weekend, they're like, Haha, you're going to get heavy snow. And then does it ever heavy snow? No. It's fantastic because there's literally no one around and I don't want to see people. So I'm living my best life, although it is positively freezing. I'm on a really, really fab walk. Um, I literally stood in a field in a puddle in my wellies, obviously. Um, I just was looking out. I was just really vibing the puddle. I'm at one and with nature right now. <laughs> Mum is obsessed with this body shop lemon soap. Not an ad, but she really, really loves it. Don't you? Yeah, I do. It's got some essential oils or something in. Um, I'm gonna make mini, because everything is better in miniature, um, chocolate cupcakes, vegan ones, because I'm in the mood for some, so I'm gonna pull her out. Here they are, they're so little and cute. I won't lie, I have consumed about five in the making. But if you think about it, that is supposedly six cupcakes. So it will be, look how cute and little they are. I think I'm gonna lay the table for mum and dad tonight. The little a day tonight. So I'm gonna get, oh, I don't know what you serve, moles in. I had all the means to actually like properly lay the table with like, you know when you see those really nice with like flowers and everything, but we keep this for my parents. Made me so excited to host dinner parties. I feel like I've really gotten to one with my dinner party self. And like my Pinterest board and all the pictures for like laying a table. And I just can't wait. I'm so excited. I can't wait to host dinner parties when we're out of a pandemic. Keeping it low key tonight. Um, apparently dinner is going to be served at six. And it's currently half four, but I just want to get started now. Um, and I'm actually going to prep some of the bits for this. For the passion fruit eaten mess, we have to um, whip up our sugar and our cream. So I'm really excited to do this today. I don't know, it just feels like a real treat. Friday treat. Vanilla sugar. Let's have a smell. Wow. That's vanilla -y. Okay, the cream is whisking up nicely until it's soft peaks. And we're going to scoopy poopy our little passion fruits out. I, passion fruits are fascinating to me. They're absolutely fascinating. They're just mesmerising. They're so pretty. But also like a bit like an alien. Do you know what I mean? Kind of like humans. One thing I learned at uni when dealing with like whipped cream is always take it out just before it's whipped. Because then you can bring it together by your hand. It's better to have it underdone and then whip it by hand then frazzle it within an inch of its life because it goes so quick it's suddenly like sloppy 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 and then bam it looks like cotton wool okay we've done that and now i'm going to prep for the indonesian why do i say it like that indonesian seafood curry there's a side salad and um, which basically is just mixing everything together we've got some crispy onions going on we've got the indo <laughs> just sounds like mm, indo indo salad dressing happening let's smell this It is dinner time, and for my very elaborate dinner, really luxurious three course meal, I'm having doo -doo 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 -doo. frozen pizza. I've not tried this one before. I've chopped up the parsley, which you can see back here, and now we're gonna open up our wine. Wow, we only needed 60 mils, so literally we've got a whole bottle left. I'm really going out of my comfort zone right here. Okay. It literally smells. I actually smell everything. I'm like a dog. Anything that's put in front of me, I smell it. I literally smell everything. Of the sea. Pants. Am I supposed to drain that? Maybe I should add all the liquid. Okay, it's dishing up time. 
Here we go. Okay, wow, here we go. So here you go, gentlemen. Oh, thank you very much. There are your mousse marron. Do they smell nice? They smell Good. Fishy. Ladies and gentlemen, can I uh, bother you to know what beverages would you like? We have white wine and tap water. I have a glass of white, white wine. There's some stuff for dad up there, isn't there? Wait, oh, just... They're nice. Are they nice? Yeah. For the gentleman, we're going for a copper bag, is that right? Mm -hmm. And for the lady, we have the house wine, which is Archery's Vermininta de Velia's Vignes. Yep. Did you buy that or did that come with the... It come with it. For what? For the, for the mousse. The Lord and Lady enjoy their wonderful starter. Mm. They're going to be moving on to the main, putting my frozen pizza in the oven. Little oh, potatoes nice. going in. Mr. Curry is on, all the curry sauce. <laughs> And my pizza's on. Clean mm -hmm. plate. This is a curry and there's a salad thing coming as well. Oh, what, what, what? That looks it's quite little, but you have a salad. I don't know what kind of main. This is perfect. Anyone like mm. a potato? I just put them down. The waitress has a really great relationship with the uh, customers, so she's just sitting there having. I've actually I feel like I've seen that in restaurants, the waiter sitting down and having a natter, mm -hmm. like in the Savoy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, how many times have you been to the Savoy? Huh? No, on that TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Never been to the Savoy. Actually, I think I did a show there once. No, that was carriages, wasn't it? And I ate all the sandwiches. Good afternoon to you, Savoy. Have you? Years and years and years and years and years ago. Pudding is being assembled. We have to crush these babies up into the cream. Passion fruit on top. Bish, bash, bosh. Lean 15. Passion fruit eaten mess. So, after that roaring success, um, <laughs> reviews are in. <laughs> what are we saying? Can't quite go to 10 because I didn't like the little salad, but I loved everything else. The muscles were on point. But we really rate that Rick Stein. Yeah. Really do. Anyone who really wants good. to treat someone, maybe Valentine's Day. Or me again. Oh, <laughs> <to help them. laughs> Dad, literally <laughs> loved it, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> this man, he, he was savouring every moment. He was even like, do you think it's coffee time? <laughs> He really enjoyed it. Um, really good quality, great portion sizes, chef's kiss. But there was just that funny green bean salad. But Dad, again, he really liked it, didn't you? So thanks very much for being on this journey. Also, those potatoes were really good. So recommend making the recipe, actually. It's fun. Um, I've had a great time, and I was sitting down. Um, and it's a Friday evening chill time.